Yo, what's up dudes and dudettes? Welcome back to All The Mod 7. Guys, we are here for yet again another world. There have been just so many changes in the mod pack that I am just so excited to try them out. Um, yeah, if we compare this to where All The Mod 7 started versus to where we're at now, it's honestly a little ridiculous how many mods are here. I believe we have over 300 mods and I think I looked, nope, I didn't look at him. But yeah, we have, um, let's see, is there a way for us to look? Um, no, but I believe there are 320 mods, something like that. So very, very awesome and cool. Uh, but yeah, we're going to go ahead and start to kind of uh, build some some buildings here. You know, get started, get the, the basic framework done. Uh, we have a lot of, you know, beginning mods here. Um, I know a fan favorite, Tinker's Construct, is in this, so we're definitely going to get some Tinker's tools today. Yeah, buddy. Get out of here, cow. Smack them on the booty. But anyway, um, I actually don't have any tools. Uh, we have the, um, the FTB Ulta mine, so I can mine out like this big area. So I've been doing that with trees, like, because these trees are a little crazy, but they have a lot of wood on them. So I've just been mining these guys up, and you know we get a lot of sticks, get a lot of food, which is amazing. Um, but yeah, we're gonna be building our base here. Uh, this is on my um, modded uh, members server, so if you do want to go ahead and play along with me, you can always join that link in the description of how to join. Um, but let's go ahead here. Um, oh, they removed, they removed the thing, the normal crafting thing. Um, yeah. Oh, look at that. That's a good looking crafting table, bro. Relax. We're just here to have some fun. And I figured we'll just we'll get some basic tools going. Um, but yeah, this will pretty much be our home. I stole this from a village along the way. I will respawn there. Not all the way back at spawn. Um, I don't think can do we have like a spawn map? Ooh, let's set a waypoint for our home. Right here. I oh, will just call it the base. And yeah, so we'll just do something pretty basic, nothing too crazy. All right, so just some basic tools here. We're gonna need to make some uh, crafting um, or some chests here. Why did I say crafting? That's weird. We we'll have to make some um, chests here pretty soon. Oh, yeah, chests here pretty soon. Uh, oh, and that reminds me, uh, as you can see, advance me. We do have a quest book in here. Uh, I accidentally already clicked this, which we get the quest book and then 10 experience points. Uh, I was testing it out. I didn't mean to. I'm sorry, guys. Um, all the modium. Yeah, we definitely don't have this yet. Uh, There's just two books. That's actually kind of cool. Uh, oh, well, that was weird. Don't hit backspace. So, yeah. Um, gives us kind of some things to go after. Uh, well, there we go. Tips and tricks. Check mark. Complete all of those tips. Oh. Okay, we've collected experience. Um, ooh, bounty board. What are you? Kill the guardian of guy. Ooh, yeah, we'll have to kill him. Well, this is cool. It gives us. Because I've killed a couple spiders. Yeah, this is cool. We'll do some more exploring of that. We need to build a base here real quick so that we can go ahead and survive the night. Where did the chests go? Oh, there they are. Perfect. Alrighty, so we have the majority of the things that we're going to need for the house. Uh, I do want to clear this out here just a little bit. <laughs> we used the vein miner. Okay, so let's see here. I've been using this style on our vanilla fan server, and I've really liked it. So let's see here. Do, 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 do. So we'll go one, two, three, one, two, three. There we go, one, two, three. And then on the fourth one, on the fourth one, maybe, maybe something like this. It's gonna look really interesting, especially this color combo. Oh wait, how do these look? 
Ooh, okay. I'm using those instead, guys. We're going to use oak wood paired up with those. I think that's going to give us a good look. It's going to give us a great look. We're going to build it right here. All right, so this here. Little bit of variety. Oh, messed that one. Okay, so this is where we're going to put all of the beams. Um, okay. And yeah, so those are looking good. What is this park? Okay, yeah, so we'll definitely want to use this for the stairs that go up. And so each of these will kind of have stairs along the outside here. I wonder if like a birch wood will look good, just the, the contrast of that. I wonder if that's a good idea. Maybe we try that, maybe we don't, who knows? Not I, said the fly. All right, so those stairs have been put upside down. Um, yeah, and so all of our chests are going to kind of go over here. We're going to have quite a big room for them. Uh, let's see. Is this a good combo? No, not really. Hmm. Let's see. What do we have for trap doors? What looks good? Um, cherry wood. Yeah, but cherry wood always looks good. I don't know if we have any kind of cherry trees anywhere, do we? Hmm. Give me a second. I might need to go find some more wood. Okay, so a little bit of time has passed off uh, Camry. Uh, I did build a mine. I haven't actually done all that much mining. Just have enough for a couple iron tools. Like, I think I have one piece of iron left over. But, yeah, we've been working on the house here. I have mixed it up a little bit. I decided to go with dark oak um, instead of the Zelkova planks or the Zelkova logs. Uh, yeah, just been growing some dark oak trees here. There have been... They're like these one by one dark oak trees. They're called something else, but I've been harvesting those guys. They were there were a lot over here. That's where I got the saplings for the dark oak trees. Yeah, like right there. See how it like there's a tree. It looks like a normal one, but it's actually dark oak, and these leaves drop uh, dark oak saplings. So that's what I've been using to kind of build up here. It's not actually even done yet, uh, but this is what we're looking like. So this felt a little low to me. I didn't really like it, so I did drop it down a block here, and then we have our chest wall. This looks crazy. I don't know if I'm gonna keep this because eventually we're gonna switch over to um, iron chests but I don't have enough iron to do that obviously as of now so yeah this is what we got here I don't know if we'll keep this for very long I like to have a full diamond chest you know eventually cover it with like the the half slab here that I've been doing and then up here's where I've been sleeping but yeah a little bit of time has passed it's pretty good we also have set home in this and if we go slash home it will teleport be back here and then we can do slash back and teleports me to where I teleported from fantastic love it to bits um i did go collect a bunch of sand if here if we go to the large map right over here there's a big sand area that i've been using uh and then it looks like we do have some more sand area this is actually where spawn is um right over here these are kind of like some tall tall like peaks and stuff so it's really super duper cool that kind of oh yeah this is one of the generated structures we might go take a look at in a couple episodes uh yeah here's another one over here um and then there's a roguelike dungeon right here and i made the mistake of building the um the mining tunnel towards the roguelike dungeon so we actually hit it a couple of times going down here um yeah, but the thing I want to go ahead and show you, like, this is where we, we hit it. Uh, it goes all the way down to negative Y, uh, negative, or Y level negative 59. Uh, but we need to go ahead and collect some uh, clay. I was going to say, I want to say gravel, but for some reason, I might want to say gray, clay. Uh, so, yeah, we need to collect some of that. We got a little bit of a few pockets um, of it over here. So, with the help of. Not vein miner, it's called FT Ultimine or something like that. Um, yeah, with the help of that, we can collect this up no problemo. 
Uh, and then we can start getting into the Tinker stuff, which is so cool. I'm so glad it's been updated to 1.18.2. Not quite on 1.19 yet, which is a little bit of a bummer because it has been out for a bit. And we had 1.18 mod packs come out super quick. Uh, but I do actually believe Valhelsia uh, has a mod, mod pack called Valhelsia Volatile that is on 1.19. So if you guys are interested in 1.19 mod pack, I'd highly recommend checking that out. Uh, and of course, I always I, I do believe all the mods will be coming out with one soon. So yeah, we'll definitely have a series on that. Maybe conjoined with this one? I don't know. I don't know. I'm feeling good about all the Mod 7. It's a great mod pack. We've done three different, like, seasons on it, basically. That was a lot of clay we got from that other pile, I just realized. Um, yeah, we don't need any more of that. But we do need some gravel now, so I guess it's time to collect that. Uh, I think the best place to do that will probably be in the mines, because I do... I have run into quite a few patches of gravel. So I might just go back there with an iron shovel and go mining. Okay, yeah, so this is the, the roguelike dungeon. There's the first floor up there, there's the second floor, and then we actually hit the bottom floor. This this was really scary to deal with on the way down. Um, okay, so Ultimine. Yeah, we good. And, and if you're wondering, I do have a mod install, which is a light, a light mod, or like a light overlay, or like it changes the way that lighting works. Um, and so that's why it lights up around me. It's so cool. I don't know if we have any more down here. I don't think we have any more gravel. Uh, we only have a stack, not even a stack and a half. Well, basically a stack and a half. Hmm. Might need to find some other sources of gravel. You know, early game shenanigans always trying to get the crazy stuff. I don't know what I'm talking about. Don't listen to me all the time. Ooh, iron. Not today, creepers. Maybe we'll take on that roguelike dungeon here pretty soon. I think that'd be fun to do. Maybe on stream. Ooh. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know if I'm geared up for that enough yet. Probably won't do that quite yet. Yeah, you can really see the, the light mod doing its thing now. Man, that's just so cool how the torch is just like illuminating everything around me. Oh, man, that is sweet. I'm so glad I installed that. Uh, that is a client-side mod, so it's not, like, on the server. Uh, so if you guys do join, you will need to install that yourself. What is that over there? Jean-Bert. Hey, we got some gravel here, too. Very cool. Okay. What? What is this? Oh, jeez. When in Rome, uh, I, I don't know if that was a good idea. Slash home, run away. Okay, let's check this out a little bit more. Um, we'll just do some. Bulwark. Ooh, some iron shoes. Hmm, this looks like, oh geez, it's a baby. Um, looks like some kind of dungeon. Can he do that? No, he's not smart. That's good that we're smart. Maybe. Okay, let's get this gravel. Oh my gosh, I almost died. Just kidding, we're smart. Oh, I will take some of this though. Oh, it's a bridge! Oh, it's a balloon! Right into a tree, that is great. What great design. What are you? You're adorable. You're a Dwyer me. Wait, that's a big beard you've got there. It's like bigger than your whole head. A little jelly. That wasn't experience. Well, I think we just need to do it. Stop screwing around and just vein mine up the gravel that's in the ground. There goes our thing. Cool. Um, yeah, there's a lot of gravel potential here. Can I do it before I start drowning? No. I'm gonna die. <sighs> I'm a turtle. I should be able to breathe underwater, right? That's a thing. 
Don't tell me it's not. Okay, that should suffice us. Yeah, that's that's plenty of gravel. Perfect. Cool. So let's make some grout. Actually, I haven't even checked Tinker's construct line. Oh, yeah, and I did kill a couple zombies. Oh, thanks for the rotten flesh. That's that's great. Okay. Silent gear. It doesn't say anything. Hmm. That is odd. Why would you not say anything? Ooh, creative tools. 28 Uptonium Aluminium Alloy. Patrick Star. Holy crap. That is cool. Okay. Ooh, a zombie heart. Turn that into a lot of those. Can't we put this on like a drying rack? Is that still a thing? Turn it into leather. Yeah, dry. Oh, drying rack turns it into leather. It's just a string. Do I have a string? Uh, no string yet. There. Okay. Anywho, let's go ahead. Okay. So if we do this, this, and this, yes, we get grout. Then we go like this. Yes, sir. Then we go like this. Yes, sir. Cool. We'll just make all of the grout we can because we'll need it. Okay, so we are out of gravel, which is perfectly okay. We're almost out of clay. But now we get to go ahead and smelt up all of this grout, which is so cool. Um, so we're just going to get the basic tools here. While that is smelting up, we can enjoy the rain. Yes, the rain is so nice, man. All right, so the thing I want to go ahead and make here uh, is the materials and you. Uh, this will give us kind of a a bit of a tutorial, so to say, um, of what we need to do. So uh, there, I do know there are some cows running around, so we can just kill them. Um, let's see. They here? I think they might have been this way. Aha, yes, there's one up on the hill. Don't worry, cow. I'll get you down. Yay. Oh, I fell too. Okay, cool. So we have the leather for the book that we require, which is amazing. Okay. So let's go ahead here. We'll make some paper. We'll combine that with that. We'll do this. And now we get Tinker. Oh. Is that an advancement or a quest? I think it's just a quest. Okay, so they've definitely revamped this. So we definitely want to go ahead and make up some of these uh, beginner tools. Um, so we're going to need a couple of things here. Um, so we're going to be combining them this guy is it nope not this anymore is it that yep here's the crafting station um let's see we need crafting table in one of these yep we get the wait what those are both the same thing <laughs> what 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 happened to the part builder oh that's the recipes changed a little bit Okay, so there we go. Part builder. We'll get rid of this guy. And this guy. We'll just put these in the ground. I believe these will allow us to keep items um, in here without us having to, like, take them out. So say if I do this. Yeah, it stays there. See how it's now in there? Yeah, that happens. Um, so, okay. What? Crafting station. Part builder. Part chest. Requires a chest. Okay, so use is here. We can make this guy. Crafting station, a tinker's chest, and then a tinker's station. Oops. Part builder. We'll put the part chest here. The station. Okay, yeah, so this is... That builds the parts, and then we combine the parts here to make the tools. 
Yes, perfect. So then we put the stencils here. We can switch it to a pickaxe head. And then we grab... Can we make it... We can make it with cobblestone. Make our first tools. We get the stone axe head. Our pickaxe head. Yes, there it is. Um... Let's see here. We need the binding. We'll put some wood here for the binding. And then we will combine these together. Now it becomes repairable, which is great. But now we have a stone pickaxe. Uh, Novus Tinker. Sweet. Um, and then what else can we make? We can just make a normal sword. Okay, yes. Yeah, so we're going to go ahead and make that. What is required? Two sticks. And a blade. Uh, just a normal... Is it small blade? I think it's just a small blade. So if we do this. And we go like this. We go bam. And then bam, bam. And now we have a stone sword. So these are our tinker tools. For tinkering around. We can even make a dagger. Comma. Comma is a precision reaping tool. Mowing down plants and shearing animals. Right click to harvest. And replant crops. That's pretty cool. A pickadies. Pick, pickadies. Pickadies. Uh, is a tool, versatile mining tool. It is effective on rock, dirt, sand, and gravel, but it's not sharp enough to mine tougher stone blocks like many ores. Oh, so this is like a work pick. I like that. The Maddox or versatile farm tool is effective against logs, dirt, sand, gravel, and plants. Just don't dig your own grave. That's funny. Hand axe. Yeah, chop, chop, chop. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and we're going to make the pick of these here. Or should we make the Maddox? I think we should make the Maddox. So it's that. And what is the circle one? A round plate. Okay. So I believe... Yes. Yes, that's which one it was. And we need the small tool handle. Oop, not that one. Tool handle. Perfect. All right, bam, bam, bam. And now we have the stone Maddox. So let's test it out here. Um... Yeah, we can mine this tree. Okay, so mines the tree pretty quickly, very nicely. I love it. We love to see it. Uh, does it mine dirt? Mines dirt pretty good. Let's test it on the dark oak tree. Very nice. I think he just did a replant. Oh, we are full. Red oak sapling. Okay, I'll put these down kind of over here. Make it feel really foresty once these grow up. And I can grab the dark oak sapling and we'll be good. Okay. Probably need to pick up the dark oak too. <laughs> but yeah, so those work really good. Um, those are just the basics to getting into tinkers. Let's see, what can we use with the seared bricks? I need to get this stuff out of my inventory. I'm also going to sleep so that we have no more rain. All right, so we got the seared brick here. Um, we can make some seared ladders, which are pretty cool. Seared glass, uh, seared fuel tank, seared drain. I don't think we are that far yet, but we definitely need that for the next step. Um, materials, flint. That was weird. It was saying flint, and it was yeah. Look at that. That's not flint. That's normal deep slate. That's weird leather. That's a rabbit. <laughs> So it's just telling us all of the durability. We can put vines on it. Um, re tool resist damage in sunlight. Okay, that's interesting. Stringy. Uh, tool can be repaired using string. Oh, that's pretty cool. Um, leather. Become a master leather worker. Tool no longer takes double or more damage from certain actions. Interesting, interesting, interesting. So I was talking about the different tools. We can repair them with a repair kit. Um, and then we can swap out parts. So once we do make a iron pickaxe, we can just upgrade or an iron pick head. We can just upgrade our tool now. Um, this includes like, uh, the binding and then the tool rod as well. Um, yeah, leather traveler's goggles. Compare goggles provide for safer adventures, easier sight and makings of a king. Um, great in snow. Interesting. Uh, traveler's vest. I think these are just... Don't forget to tuck a bag. 
Oh, they have ability slots. Okay, that's right. Abilities are now a thing. I don't think we're going to go. Oh, wait, yes. Powerful modifiers that drastically change a tool modifier such as Silk Touch and Auto Smell are notable as both change the effects of mining blocks while dual wielding makes tools much easier to handle. Uh, abilities require ability slots to be applied. Nearly all tools start with a single ability slot and can receive can only receive up to one, so choose abilities wisely. Uh, full list. Okay. Defense modifiers. Puny smelting crafting. So this is kind of the next one. So let's see about turning this into leather, maybe. Um, we have the drying rack. Is there any other way to do that? Mm, there's a lot of other ways to do it, but we don't have access to them yet. Like a redstone furnace could do it, which is actually really cool. What was this? General, oh yeah, we're not even close to that yet. Um, rotten leather, and what do you do with rotten leather? You do that, okay. So we can do that right meow. Get seven leather, which is great. Now we can smelt this and get normal leather. <laughs> Let's clap for ourselves. Yeah. Okay, so we got one leather leather now. Leisurely leather. I do need some more sugar cane, so that's a problem. I've got no way of collecting more of it or other than just finding it. We don't have a way of farming because I don't have any iron to make a bucket. So I'm definitely going to have to do some mining off camera. Just know there's probably going to be some diamonds I find because I'm going to go mining. So just don't hit me in the comments of next episode saying, hey, look at all the mining you did off camera as a typical YouTuber. Because, hey, I'm warning you, so don't say it. You feel me? You feel me? Is that all the sugar cane over here? I would like a little bit more, so I can't start up that farm. But I don't need it. I'm not a needy person. It is also July 3rd, so if you guys hear some fireworks going off in the background, just know that we're celebrating Independence and it's a great holiday. So happy 4th of July to all of my fellow United States citizens. I love you, peeps. Okay, so we're about to come across some big water over here. Maybe there could be some... Some? No? Okay, let's... We don't need more than what we have, you know? I'm just... I'm just... Yep, being greedy. I shouldn't do that, right? Just start with one. Cool. So we have the book here. We combine this with some grout... And we get puny smelting. Yes, smeltery recruit. It's great. Let's go ahead and take a look at what's inside this book. Puny smelting. Oh, dang. What if we just hit the next page? You might need to see what the next page is in the next episode. Ha ha. Yes, haha, I pulled a fast one on you. You guys never saw that coming. Just want to give a special shout out to all of my members. You guys are amazing. Uh, and guys, I highly recommend you check out some of the other videos I have on the channel here. If you look on their page now, you can see the beginning of basically season two of All The Mod 7. So I highly recommend checking that out. Thanks for watching, everyone. Y'all have a great day. I'll see you in the next episode where we're going to get into second tier of the Tinker's Tools. So hope you all enjoy that. See you then.